All right, guys, we're doing the second movement now to Beethoven's first piano sonata, Opus 2, number 1. And we've already done the first movement. Moving on to the second, so I'll play a little bit of it for you. of it, uh, the rest of that line there, the rest of the phrase. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my sight reading lessons for SeanCheek.com. Uh, I'm assuming you're, you're already a sight reader and you can read notes pretty well. If you haven't, you need to do my beginner lessons, 132 of them, on SeanCheek.com, all with printable PDFs of the sheet music so you can learn how to read music well and then you can get to this stuff. Everybody always has trouble with slow movements because they just don't know how to play them or how to approach them. Slow movements are great because they make you slow down, stop everything, you have to enjoy the moment, and it's not rushed, you know, like you rush through the first movement playing it fast. Uh, you have to slow down and smell the roses when you play a, uh, a slow movement. So this is very good mentally, spiritually, um, and musically just to play a slow movement and learn how to play it well. I'm going to show you a technique that I learned, I, I played slow movements, you know, from when I was a kid, but never really, uh, the, the counting is hard, right, because it goes so slow, and then you'll have something like that with three, four bars, and you just give up because you don't know how to count it. Um, my teacher in college taught me to count the sixteenth notes. Count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if I have, you know, you count for every beat, you're going to count four. One, two, three, four. help you count it until you get the feel of it and then you can just you know play it in regular three four but let's get the notes first and then I'll we'll work worry about the counting okay so uh, SeanCheek.com for you members it's already on there just go ahead and start learning it print your PDF file so you can have something to practice with but we'll start with uh, the right hand here the melody we're in three four times so three slow counts per measure adagio of course is slow uh, one flat in the key signature so we were in F minor in the first movement. Now we're in F major for the second movement. Okay, so it's a different key. It's it's the parallel key. Okay, F minor is a parallel to F major. So we're in a, a happy key now. So we're going to start with C. A lot of times on repeated notes, uh, the fingering will show a different finger, but I never like to do that. I like to play the same finger if I can, so that's just me. But C, C, we'll do the counting in a minute. Let's do the A now. Let's go up to A, C, C, A. Now I'm going to use a 2, so I can do that. You can use a 3 and then switch, I guess. But anyway, A, and we're going to play this up here. This shows you how to count this, this turn. This is called a turn. Okay, and this is how you execute it. B flat, A, G, A, and then you have that uh, termination at the end, the C. So it's A, B flat, A, G, A, C. It's not as fast as it looks, okay? So let's... Is the rhythm, but we'll, we'll work through them a little more closer in a minute. C, B flat, A, G, F, and then an F again. And then an E. Now it has a staccato, but that doesn't always mean play it as short as you can. Sometimes it's just a lift. And sometimes it's even, you, you'll pedal through it. And you'll even connect. Duh. It's kind of a mental thing, okay? So that staccato is treated differently in this slow movement. F, E, and then we have C. And then B natural in D. It would have been B flat, but it's B natural. And then B flat and E natural, tritone. Two and four for that they have. Uh, I like just one and three to me, but F, C. Now we have two stems because the alto is singing the F and holding it, and the soprano is going da da. We'll just do a lift, even though we're going to pedal through that rest probably. Uh, now, so that's the right hand. Let's look at the left hand. We have F and a C. Now the white notes mean something, so hold them down. C. So you keep that F on the bottom, and then an A, and then we'll do A and C together, G, 
and then right here it's just an A and a C. Now here's the counting. If you count sixteenth notes and you're counting to four on each beat, one, two, three, four. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, again, those things are included in my sight, re sight, sight reading series, my boot camp uh, series, level one and two, explaining counts and, and how to count these things. I'm not going to rehash through that on this more advanced video. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and this is how we count that. So listen again. One, two. I'm counting sixteenths, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or you may just want to feel it. Okay? And then we have uh, here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. See, because an eighth note will have two sixteenth notes inside of it. So you'll have two numbers for the eighth notes. Now let's put hands together and count it again. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. 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 And I do a lip. Okay? Make sure you put some emphasis on that because that's a. Anytime you have a da da, <laughs> you want to uh, hit the first one a little harder and then. Uh, uh. Now let's go ahead, see if I can not knock down the video camera because it's right behind me. Okay, now we're going to have. Right? Now on my website, you know, some people say, oh, that's, ex that's expensive, $200 for a year, or uh, I'm running a special right now for $99 for a year, and they say, that's expensive. Well, hold on now, if you had private lessons with me, it would cost well over $100 uh, for a month, and uh, you know, you're getting the same type of lesson with me here on the video, so it's a pretty good value, I think. All right, so this measure is going to go, la, 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 la. see how I, I, I come down, da, some people call those two note slurs. Um, I call them da 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 because that way when my students hear me say that they know immediately what I'm talking about. Da 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 da. Okay, you gotta play it musically. Um, F C, and then we're gonna go bottom, which is G and C together with uh, two and five and then four. They have a four there, but you know, whatever. B flat, slow movements, the fingering isn't quite as important because you have time to change. Uh, and then F and B flat together, and then A. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See how there's two counts on the eighth note? And then that one gets in one. One, two, three. And then the, the four, I'm saying, is on that sixteenth rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. And that's how we count the slow movement, is we always remember those sixteenth notes. Left hand is A and C, and then E and C, and then F and C. So here we're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay? You want to go from the beginning of it? Okay, so here we go. Another da da. <laughs> okay, well, that's my free part one that I put on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy it. Some of you who can't afford a membership or just can't are getting something out of these part ones, and I'm glad for that. But a special thanks to you who are buying memberships and, and supporting what I do. I appreciate that. Talk to you guys later.